Guys, tuna pasta is a sensational, beautiful, light pasta that you can have all the time. And this is my latest version of tuna pasta, full of flavors with simple Mediterranean ingredients. Mm. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Today is tuna pasta day. I grew up in Italy and I ate pasta every single day, sometimes even twice a day. This was the pasta I loved when I was a teenager. All the teenagers in Italy love it and everybody loves tuna, okay? It can be from the can or fresh. So over the years I improved uh, my skills as a cook and I always change my original recipe or my, my mom's original recipe and today I want to make something more Mediterranean let's say with your Mediterranean flavors the ingredients we're going to use are fusilli pasta because I believe fusilli it is the right pasta to use for tuna in fact I don't use fusilli that much unless I've got tuna in there then we're gonna use some nice capers. I've got beautiful Italian capers. Then we need to use tuna. Now, you can use as much as you want. I'm making pasta for two of us, 300 grams of um, pasta. I'm using a large can of tuna, okay? In olive oil. Don't use in brie, don't use um, tuna in vinegar. Olive oil, please. Otherwise, the flavor won't be as good. Rocket which we can use right at the end. I'm gonna use some lemon zest and some lemon juice to bring out the flavors of the tuna and some parsley and of course extra virgin olive oil. 300 grams of pasta, I use about 400 grams of tuna. One more thing guys before we start, when you use capers please use salty capers that you need to wash under the water because they will give you the right flavor. If you use capers in vinegar they're going to give you a flavor that you don't really want. Our saucepan is on so what we do I'm gonna add this beautiful extra virgin olive oil this is from Abruzzo this extra virgin olive oil from Loreto Prutino. Now in this recipe I'm not adding any garlic nothing like that I'm just going to put the tuna in there large can of tuna which I'm going to break just with a fork okay I really want to keep this recipe simple I want to get the lemon right now I want to get this lemon zest to to give the nice flavor to this tuna don't call me crazy for not using garlic you can use garlic if you want I just love this beautiful flavor just the way it is okay but if you feel like using the fresh tuna you just need to chop it up into small small strips or small cubes and you will be fine and again this is my version of tuna pasta today how i like to do it today what we do now we are gonna cut the lemon enough and we're going to squeeze the lemon juice in there now this lemon is my sauce for the day the lemon sauce see now the lemon is gonna help us to make the tuna a little bit more softer and it will give the flavor that we want now the capers are right here okay I've got the beautiful capers I've removed the salt from the capers and I put them in there just like that now feel free now to add the parsley you can chop the parsley by hand or just with a knife I really want the parsley to be an important ingredient for this recipe you know I want the flavor from the parsley I want the colors from the parsley now if you see that your pasta is a little bit dry because you know the tuna is absorbing the lemon just squeeze as much lemon as you can okay put some salt add some pepper now we need to cook a tuna for no more than five minutes simply because the tuna from the can is already cooked and we just want to combine all the flavors together okay so at this point I'm going to boil the pasta the pasta I'm using today is fusilli and it takes about 11 minutes to cook what we do is we put a generous amount of rock salt and I'm going to cook our fusilli this beautiful pasta that I love to serve with tuna so it's just for me and Suzanne so 300 grams are 
probably enough. When I was younger, I was able to hit the whole packet by myself. But as you can see, it's a bit more difficult now. <laughs> All right, so what we do, we put the pasta on, we just uh, quickly stir, and then we're going to cover the, this, but we want the steam to go out. Guys, what I want you to do here is to make sure that you break the tuna, okay? Because the smaller the pieces are, the better it is to combine, you know, with the pasta. Because every time we get a fork of pasta, we want the tuna attached to the pasta. So it is very, very important that you do that. Now at this point, as you can see, it might look a little bit dry, okay? What I want to do now, I want to put the pan back on the stove, okay? Let's put the pasta water in there. Let's put the pasta water in there. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add the pasta in there. So remember I told you one minute before, it's, it's one minute to go. So we do with the last minute, we're going to finish to cook the pasta in this. Never throw away your pasta water, keep it there. You never know, you might need more. And this is what we do now, look at that. Combining the tuna with the pasta which is very very important okay i'm going to add the arugula a little bit at a time and we mix it we don't need a lot just a little bit to give the color and the acidity from the rocket i like it when you mix it with the sweet lemon lovely lovely let's put a little bit more let's put more rocket stir as you can see, the pasta water has been absorbed. Look, there is not much left. It's very nice and creamy. See that? The wo pasta water makes a pasta a little bit creamier. We are able to combine a pasta so well thanks to the pasta water. Pasta water is so, so important, guys. So, so important. Look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful. So I have to, to choose how much tuna you, to, you want to use. If you're making 200 grams of pasta, use double the amount of tuna. If you're making half kilo of pasta, which is a packet of pasta, use a kilo of tuna. That, you know, always try to use as much tuna as possible. And here we have a beautiful tuna pasta. It's time to serve it. We're getting closer to the most important part of the video. So here we go. We're going to plate a pasta in there. So let's make sure we have plenty of tuna with our pasta, okay? So here is the pasta. Let's finish it off with a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. Raw extra virgin olive oil, beautiful. And now we are ready to eat it. Oh yeah, and I'm going to really, really enjoy this marvelous dish. Guys, I always say, this is the best part of the video. Please subscribe, write a comment below, and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Yeah! Now, the plate I made is for Suzanne. I'm going to eat it straight from the pot. There is nothing better than eating from the pot. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I get the beautiful lemon flavors. I get the tuna on each piece of pasta. The capers, the salty capers, really help. The rocket arugula is just there for the look. And the parsley is important. You need the parsley, especially the stalk, because it gives you the nice kick. Mm. Buon appetito, guys. See you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. Thank you so much for watching this episode. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's plate. Straight from the pan. Mmm, I love doing this. Mmm, yum. Mmm.